How can we get more people interested in studying the Great Lakes and how do plastics affect things locally and regionally? I noticed that a lot of people had Ziploc bags. How can my family protect the fish and waters from microplastics? I learned that you can't randomly go out and collect data and you need to take pictures and track, track our data so we can figure out how to reduce plastics. How can I make a difference and how can Pulaski make a difference? We are explorers! Welcome to Pulaski, Wisconsin. I'm Dave Landers and I'm here to tell you about our Geo Inquiry Project. Come on outside to the big classroom and let me explain. Located within the Lake Michigan watershed, Pulaski is an agricultural area near Green Bay, Wisconsin, and is connected to the greatest freshwater ecosystem on Earth, the Great Lakes. Also known as the Inland Seas and the Fresh Coast, they contain 20% of the world's surface freshwater. We began the year by taking in a, the approach using the explorer's mindset to learn like an explorer. And how a community member who was on an exploration to the Arctic with National Geographic uses the explorer's mindset and how we can too. In the ask phase, our Geo Inquiry Plastics project was introduced with a Google Hangout with a crew member from Expedition North Pacific. We were able to hear about the global issue of plastics from a crew member as well as the perspective from women in exploration and how a variety of talents can bring action to issues. We generated questions by asking I wonder questions. We learned how plastics impact our waters and Great Lakes at our local level. We began to investigate how we use plastics and where they are through a scavenger hunt. Around our schools, home, and outside. Wow, plastics are everywhere. Did some investigations in stations about plastics through reading and videos. Explored outside areas. Generated more questions. Watched some National Geographic videos about plastics. After generating I wonder questions about plastic, we use a Kubrick to help revise and frame our questions into a geo inquiry question. The full chart helped us develop our geo inquiry question. We kept editing and discussing our questions until we had our two geo inquiry questions to investigate. It was nice to have choice as to which question interests us. Next, we learned how Arthur Middleton, a National Geographic explorer, used the explorer's mindset and geo inquiry process to study the elk migration in the Yellowstone ecosystem. When we watched the video about your trip to Yellowstone and that you were following the elk to see how they migrate, it made me feel inspired to explore nature. After learning how Professor Middleton collected data and collaborated with others, we broke up into teams to develop a plan on collecting data to help support our geo inquiry question. Our data collection included interviews, developing surveys, collecting data in our cafeteria, counting forks. Look at all those forks! collecting data in the stream. Weather can't stop us. In the visualized phase, we took our data and analyzed and made maps. Showed how our stream went all the way to Lake Michigan. Made graphs. In the create phase, we were part of a Google Hangout with KT Mueller who helped us think about how we can tell our story. We are still working on this phase. Our final phase is coming in spring 2019, with ideas including Lake Michigan and stream cleanup, alternatives to plastic in our cafeteria, reusable water bottles, and other creative ways to reduce our plastics consumption and protect our waters from plastics.